Uh, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 5 of the Orc Gunwagon uh, tutorial. Now this is started. Um, I made another mistake, and we're actually going to have to delete that side and delete all those things. And the reason for this is because I put this piece uh, too far oops, back. This is right there, and it's supposed to be right about there. So we're going to remedy that. Go into the vertex mode and select all the vertices that have to do with this piece, including all those ones hidden. Okay, make sure you get the top ones too. Alright. should be so that when you move it, everything else seems to move along nicely. And go into the left hand view and just match it so it equals that. Okay, and yeah. Alright, now we can copy all this over. So copy, okay mirror it on the x-axis and put it kind of close there uh, attach that to that okay now you have to delete all the polygons on both sides of this so do that You could actually do this by bridging, but that's just going to lead to more polygons, which I'm trying to avoid. Uh, it's not working out very well. Okay, so go into the top view and grab all those and just scale them together. Okay, hit weld, and you can see the vertice difference. Okay. Now all of our pieces are nicely welded together, and we have a whole little unit thing. Okay. Uh, let's get started on the engine. So it's basically it looks like two boxes with a kind of circular box thing. So here we go. Create a box. Uh, using auto grid. It doesn't have to be exactly close because the orcs would just kind of set it in there. So, yeah, create a box. And you're going to want it to be about that high, so increase the height to get a little bit below that. Actually, um, no. Because we have to do this thing. So make it about halfway between these two points. So, uh, this is Eternal Blade, wow. and welcome to part four of the. Okay. Um, so, make it so the height is halfway, so it's right about there. So, lower that. Okay, maximize. Get rid of the box thing. And it looks like it takes up about eh, half, so you're going to want to decrease the width until you can move it over and comfortably seat two of them right about that line. And stop it right at the edge. So let's actually convert to an editable poly polygon. Just drag that one out a bit right at the edge. And next let's mm, give this a little inset. Give it an extrude of about one inset again, and scale that inset outward and extrude it by about one again, so you get this kind of like little break. And uh, extrude all of that by about, oh, let's see what it looks like here. Just kind of extrude it out to about 
I'm not going to follow the picture exactly. About there. 12.8 or so. Okay, grab those two edges and chamfer them. Make it kind of a big chamfer, about 8. And then increase the segments so you get this kind of rounded look. Okay. Um, then you're going to want to actually get these edges done here. Hit loop, and of course it doesn't work. So grab everything, Alt, deselect all that stuff. Then go in here and make sure you deselect that, that, and let's see, that, and that. Alright, chamfer it all with one segment and a chamfer of about uh, 2.74 or 0.274 looks good. So get that in. And uh, next let's build this kind of boxular thing. And actually this is too high. Um, Alright, grab these, all these vertices, just pull it down a bit. I think it's the perspective playing tricks. So grab that, and actually let's get to the top view. Grab all these vertices and just bring them back a bit. Okay, go back into perspective. And let's build this box right there. So I'm going to do this using inset. So inset it a bit, and uh, then get these vertices, uh, hit chamfer, so you get kind of like a little rounded areas, and uh, let's see, use bevel, bring it in, it's about 0.3, bring it out again, okay, extrude it by about one and bevel it using a height of 0.1 and an outline of negative uh, 0.24 and then you're going to want to looks like, inset it again or not Inset it, and then get these vertices and just weld, increase the threshold by a lot. Do that with these, weld, 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 okay, get the polygon, and scale it in to where we were going before. Uh, and using bevel, okay, uh, extrude by about two, okay, bevel it again, okay, uh, it's another inset, about that much, okay, scale it inward, and let's get out of it, just so it's kind of more like a box. Okay, extrude out by about one. Okay, bevel. Inset again. Uh, extrude. So this time do about negative one. Okay, uh, bevel that. Okay, um, and that'll be it for part five. I'll see you in part six where we will continue uh, adding in rivets and we'll do the smokestacks and probably uh, the rest of this section of the engine.